Start it off and have a bit of fun. What's up, guys? Ted Jones World Podcast here. If you were at the last Ted Jones Comedy Show, thank you so much for coming. We had an amazing time. Check the link in this YouTube video for September and October dates coming very soon. So a little bit of pop culture news, I guess we'll get into right away because the people love hearing about pop culture news. You know, sometimes I don't understand. It mostly happens on TikTok or whatever. Like a girl or a guy will go on TikTok and be like, bro, how could you cheat on Emily Ratajkowski? Everybody's relationship is different, guys, okay? And once you're in a relationship for a long enough time, sometimes it gets boring. Now, I'm not saying that that gives you the right to cheat on people, like men cheating on women, whatever. This isn't top G talk discussion right here, like Andrew Tate might say, but sometimes relationships, and especially in this day and age with dating apps and so many distractions, relationships could fizzle out. For those of you who haven't heard, Emily Ratajkowski, model girl who got famous in the Blurred Lines video with Robin Thicke years ago, was cheated on by her husband, and they have a dog and a child together. So people are like, oh, this guy's such a dick. But hey, let's say that karma does come at you quick, okay? You guys know what happened? Now Emily Ratajkowski is dating Brad Pitt. Okay, don't ask me how I have the upfront spoiler alert news or actually behind the scenes. It's not even really upfront, but that is probably awful karma for Emily Ratajkowski's ex-husband, right? Last night, I saw some kids from my high school for the first time and no joke, probably about 12 years. So one of my ex-girlfriends reach out, reaches out to me last night on text like 8.30 p.m. Hey, I'm going to this girl's concert, a girl who went to our high school. You should come. And I was like, eh, no, I'm not gonna go. And in my head, I just have my dad's voice being like, Ted, you need to go out and you need to socialize more. Because guys, I'll be honest, I do have social anxiety. I don't like the process of going to an event with a lot of people. It doesn't matter like how many people I know there, whatever. I just don't like the process of going into an event and having to socialize. That's just one thing I really don't mind. People will ask Ted, well, do you get nervous when you go on stage? No, I love going on stage. And I used to get more nervous when I would go on to serve, like before going on the stage at a comedy show or whatever. But now <laughs> it's funny how the roles have just switched. Like I used to be a nightclub promoter. I put on my sweatpants, my outfit that you guys know I always wear, the black sweatpants, white shirt, Ted Jones World hat, okay? Don't worry about it. Obviously, I had some Ted Jones World merch on. I go to this event. It was nice. We're there for probably 35 minutes. The opener is there for this particular concert. The girl whose concert it was comes into the back, says hi to us. After she says hi to us, her sister comes to the back of the crowd, and the girl whose concert was like, oh, do you know my sister? And then realizes mid saying, oh, have you met my sister? I have already hooked up with her sister, so that was a bit wooks. But it was nice seeing, you know, high school kids. I haven't seen them in years, 10 to 12 years. And it's not like I'm anti-social. It's just sometimes I just get too much anxiety and I can feel it in my stomach. I know that like anxiety is a big thing. So if you guys do get social anxiety, I understand it. And it's okay. Don't make people make you feel uncomfortable by poking you and be like, oh, why not? Everyone's going to be there. Oh, why not? Whatever. In that particular situation, I had my dad's voice in my head, but it ended up being a fun time. I was there for like 40 minutes and guys, don't ever feel pressure to stay at a place longer than an hour <laughs> or even 30 minutes. Once you're there for 30 minutes, you've seen enough people, whatever, dip and dive out of there. And I don't drink also. So I think that has something to do with it. I just don't always feel comfortable being in a vibe where everyone's drinking. It's not like I can't drink. And if I drink, I get crazy. It's just I feel like shit the next 48 hours if I drink. I don't know how you guys feel, but like back when I was 23, 24 years old, I can drink eight drinks, go to brunch the next day, do it all over, hair of the dog, and potentially even go to gym, the gym that day. But now it's not so much like that. So it's good to see everyone from high school. Maybe I'll meet some of them at the US Open this year. That'll be great, whatever. But guys, I am planning on going to the US Open this coming Wednesday. There's like a Ukraine uh, fundraiser where a lot of players will be at the tournament. So I feel like it'd be fun to go and freaking vlog it. Seamless transition. If crypto doesn't go back to what it was like a year ago, we're all fucked. Okay, guys, did I buy Bitcoin to 50,000? You betcha. Did I buy <laughs> Ethereum at 3,600? Yes, I did a little bit. I also don't understand how some crypto investors are still balling. Well, I guess they must have gotten in at like a very early time. And getting in early, as you guys know, always helps. Hello. I'm talking, I'm talking, how you doing? You're talking, how you doing? You know, do I sound like that? What do you mean? <laughs> when you, when you, no, seriously, because people, not people, but my Pilates guy. Yeah. 
the last time I was with him, he he uh, kept picking up on words that I said and in doing it in a, in, with an accent. And I thought, my God, is he telling me something? No, only some words. Only, I think, words with you kind of say. You with exaggerate the you. the you. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. I so, will not talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Grandma, so I have you, like, you're linked up to the podcast right now. Can I put this conversation on it? Feel free to say no. I, I don't mind if I don't sound terrible. You sa- No, you sound great. The only I only repeat your words when you use the you in some words, like talking. Try it again. Say it again. Well, there's no you there in talking. Yeah, but you use a you when you say talking. You hear the try, say funny? talking. Talking. There talking. you go. That was better. Talking. Now, how about try coffee? Coffee. There. Yeah. <laughs> no way. We fixed you. We fixed your speaking. There you go. I'm trying so, very hard to uh, to adapt. We missed you at the Ted Jones comedy show the other day, so you you got to get oh, to the next God, one. I really wanted to go. That's what I was trying to say. You know, you are so charming. You, you, I'm, don't take this personally, but you are so charming that people will love you. And that is so important in a performer because when a performer comes out and he is well received, everything he says is well received. Oh, you want me to talk? You want me to talk? Talk. <laughs> 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 that's funny yeah i don't know why i i see i seem to have an accent i don't understand it well grandpa kind of did too you both kind of talked talked the yeah, same but way he came from he came from jersey city that's right. different there is an accent at jersey city well but, did you uh, pick up on it i hope i guess i did yeah Not i think meaning you did to. i think you did yeah i guess so have but you I'll been t- have t- you been watching any tv recently I have been watching. I finished up A Better Call Saul. Oh, yeah. Everyone's been talking about that. Have you seen it? I have not. Is it, did it you is watch Breaking fabulous. Bad? Did you watch Breaking Bad? Yes, I did. I did. Now, the, 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 only, the only relevance one to the other is that the character, Saul, it was in the other, was in Breaking Bad. That's the only thing. There's nothing about Breaking Bad in the in the soul thing i think it's probably the same creator too or some of it the is. same cre- oh it is it is all right grandma well i'm happy we talked i love you love Thank you very you. much we'll talk soon okay have a good bye, day baby. bye grandma thanks for calling that was a fun little conversation guys if you have your grandparents around, if you're lucky enough to still have a grandma, grandmother, grandpa, grandfather, whatever it is, give them a call, okay? Because I'm sure that they would love to hear you. And don't forget to call your mom or call your dad. That'd be a perfect time to just drop this episode right now.